People often depict aliens as creatures with big heads and eyes, or we imagine them as a menacing, hostile fleet ready to attack Earth. While it's possible those live somewhere in the universe, there's no definitive proof of their existence, and so they remain in the realm of science fiction. But what if aliens are not just make-believe? What if there's proof beyond a reasonable doubt that there is in fact other life out there that didn't originate on Earth? The next five examples may finally answer the question of whether or not we are alone in the universe. These are the top five most convincing signs that alien life exists. Number five, the Mars microbe. Scientists studying images taken by NASA's Curiosity rover noticed distinct similarities between sedimentary rocks found on Mars and various natural formations on Earth that they know were shaped by microbes. Using images taken by the rover at Yellowknife Bay, a now dry Martian lake bed, scientists were able to isolate areas that could have possibly been shaped by microbes on the red planet. Here's how it works. On Earth, microbes often create carpet colonies on lakes and various coastal areas. They rearrange the sediments, forming unique features. Over time, those fossilize, creating a permanent imprint or telltale sign on the surface. These are officially known as microbially induced sedimentary structures, or MIS. Geobiologist Nora Nofk studies these microbial structures on Earth. The oldest MIS on Earth is estimated to be 3.4 billion years old and is found in Western Australia. Nora saw the similarities of the structures in the pictures taken by Curiosity, which included pockets, erosional remnants, domes, chips and cracks, just like those found on Earth. Beyond shape and form similarities, she also noted these microbial structures also vary depending on where they are found. On Earth, if they are found near a river, they usually form a different set of associations compared to microbial pattern structures discovered in areas with only seasonal flooding. The structures seen on Mars also showcase this unique pattern. Although this doesn't serve as definitive evidence since an actual sample of the Martian sediment would be needed, it nonetheless presents a strong case for the presence of ancient life on Mars. We have never returned any soil or rock samples from Mars, but current plans to do so are in the works, and Yellowknife Bay will hopefully be a focal point. Number four, the alien harvest balloon. The idea of life on another planet is something we've floated around for a long time. But is it possible that alien life could be closer to us than we think? A research team composed of British scientists released a specialized balloon 17 miles up into our stratosphere to gather samples during a meteor shower, and what it brought back shocked them. Upon its return, they found tiny, unusual microorganisms trapped inside the balloon. One of the scientists, Professor Milton Wainwright, said that because there is no known mechanism by which these life forms can achieve that height, they must be incoming. This idea was then expanded. If these alien microorganisms live nearby, then they could be carried to Earth by meteorites, and thus may have been the reason that life on Earth ever began in the first place. Although some have argued these particles could have originated from Earth and blasted into the stratosphere by volcanic eruption, Wainwright disagrees. He argues that the specimens were very clean, they did not contain any dust from Earth or even any cosmic dust from space. He also adds that these organisms don't look anything similar to what have been found on Earth. A separate research project done by scientists working with NASA also discovered bacteria living several miles above the Earth's surface. When air samples were taken, it showed 314 different types of bacteria. 20% were thrown up into the atmosphere from the ground while the other 80%'s origins are unknown. Number three, the wow signal. It happened on August 16th, 1977. While everybody was mourning Elvis Presley's death, a volunteer of the now defunct Big Ear Radio Observatory, Jerry Eman, stumbled on something extraordinary. 
While examining data collected by the radio telescope, he found a set of alphanumerical sequences which stood out from the rest. He was so astonished by it that he took a red pen and circled the vertical column 6EQUJ5, writing the word WOW in the margins. The set of radio transmissions has since been dubbed the WOW signal. At that time, the radio telescope was tasked to scan for extraterrestrial signals, hoping an intelligent civilization somewhere might be sending one if they were attempting to contact other intelligent life in the universe. The signal originated from the constellation of Sagittarius. It was a steady source of radio waves that stood out from the other data because it was one of the loudest frequencies ever recorded coming from space. It was about 30 times louder than that of the regular ambient radio waves found in deep space, and so it's widely believed that it must have been an intentionally generated radio signal. From who or where exactly, we have no idea. The entire signal lasted for 72 seconds and was never detected or heard again. Scientists have tried figuring out where it could have come from and even pointed smaller yet more advanced radio telescopes in the same region in space, but to no avail. Number two, alien fossil in Antarctica. Discovered in 1984 in Allen Hills, Antarctica, the ALH 84001 meteorite is known to have come from Mars. It's also considered to be one of the oldest remnants of our solar system, forming about 4 billion years ago. Although we do have several examples of Martian meteorites landing on Earth, what's intriguing about this one is that it's believed to have come from a time when the red planet still had water. In 1996, NASA scientists examining the rock claimed that the meteorite contained traces of alien fossils. Using electron microscopes, they scanned its structures and revealed several bacteria-like life forms inside. Could this be proof of alien life on Mars at some point? When the findings first came out, it caused uproar. Plenty of scientists rejoiced at the findings and its implications, while others criticized it. Even President Bill Clinton made a special acknowledgement about the discovery. What's odd is that even today it's debated as to whether the fossils are real or some form of geological anomaly. It's possible they can't perform proper testing, or maybe they just don't want the public to know the answer. Number one, the Drake Equation. First presented in 1961, the Drake Equation was proposed by astronomer Dr. Frank Drake. It was initially created to stimulate conversation at a meeting of SETI, which is a search for extraterrestrial intelligence, but has since been used to give us an idea just how many active, detectable extraterrestrial civilizations could exist in our own Milky Way galaxy. Using this formula and filling in the variables, Drake estimates that about 10,000 detectable civilizations are inside our own galaxy. Other scientists, like Carl Sagan, with his own variables, calculated up to a million civilizations. Each of the variables are made of different figures depending on estimates made by those who use it. Basically, the formula itself might look simple, but it's gathering the figure for the variables involved that makes it tricky. You likely won't get the same answers as another person unless you use the same exact numbers. The problem is that there's currently no way to obtain exact figures for most of the variables required by the formula. But the more technologically advanced we become, the more we discover about the universe and our solar system, which leads us to update or change our initial estimates and figures to a more accurate one. Regardless of the figures you come up with if you solve your own equation, keep in mind, this only calculates for our own Milky Way galaxy. It's estimated that our universe contains 100 billion galaxies. With this equation, the idea that we are the only forms of intelligent life in the entire universe seems to simply be impossible. So those were the five most convincing signs that alien life exists. For those willing to accept science and mathematics, the proof is undeniable. Whether microscopic or intelligent, alien life is certainly out there somewhere in the vast universe, and sooner or later, either we'll find it, or they'll find us.
If you liked watching this video, then please remember to subscribe and share it with friends. Each week we'll have a new video for you, and the continued support by all of you is very much appreciated. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.